In almost a year of the Ukrainian crisis, a long list of crimes are yet to be properly investigated. Snipers in Kiev in February, the Odessa massacre in May, and the recent discovery of unmarked graves in eastern Ukraine are just a few of them. Moscow is asking the UN and international monitoring organization, the OSCE, to look into the cases that Kiev has so far failed to investigate. Artis Maria Fenoshna has more. Almost every military conflict has crimes, obvious and shocking, that go unpunished. The Ukrainian crisis seems to be full of them. Kiev's Maidan Square on 20th of February this year. Dozens of demonstrators and policemen were cruelly cut down by snipers. Long after the blood had been washed off Maidan, the EU's foreign policy chief was caught in a leaked conversation with Estonia's foreign minister. It's really disturbing that now the new, uh, new coalition, that they don't want to investigate what exactly happened, so that there is now stronger and stronger understanding that behind snipers, they were, it was not Yanukovych, but it was somebody from the new coalition. Almost eight months later, the scandalous revelations have done nothing to help bring anyone to justice. It's famous, famous label, Le crime d'état, the crime of the, the crime of the state, because if state commits uh, a crime, it will never allow our investigators to reveal the real names of people who ordered it. The southern city of Odessa on the 2nd of May. More than 30 people were killed when pro-Maidan activists stormed a building occupied by protesters. Those responsible were never identified nor brought to justice. Recently, RT contacted the EU Council, but almost five months after the tragedy, here's all it had to say. Investigation must be swift and transparent, free of political influence. It should bring to justice all those guilty of illegal acts and violence. Outside the eastern city of Donetsk on 23rd of September, Europe's security watchdog reports on the discovery of three unmarked graves containing at least nine bodies. It's just three kilometers from the site of the first discovery. There was initially a mound here looking like a grave with five names written on a plaque on top of it, all in Russian. But this is this plaque. We found it. Uh, there is an inscription here, died for Putin's lies. Shocking details of their deaths were established in the morgue. All four of the victims, all of them are male, have multiple gunshot wounds to the head and body. Their hands were taped behind their backs. Some of them were only in their underwear. The OSC special monitoring mission staff were on the ground too, but that brought little progress. The EU Council is aware of the reports about anonymous burials in Donbass, in particular as reported by the OSC special monitoring mission. As underlined by this mission, and as far as we're aware, there has been no forensic analysis of the bodies so far. Many questions, and yet few answers. Marie Fnoshna, RT.